Okay, so one way or the other, this should be the very last video. Since, yeah, there's only three levels left. I would hope, you know, that there's nothing left here that would make it so insanely difficult that I'd have to split more. Oh yeah, this little Easter egg here, when you sit long enough, it plays the Mario theme. I kind of forgot about that. Alright, so, we'll finish off with this, uh, fortress and whatever the last level is before we get to our last remaining level. Oh, yay, of course. I forgot that we still had this room left to do. Alright, luckily Cape is muy helpful. Alright, goodbye. All right, get lost. You gotta be really careful because these things are basically like an insta-kill. If you happen to still be on them, oh my god. Oh, yeah, of course there had to be... Um, those jumping Koopa statues on here. Let's, let's let that Potobo uh, kill itself. Yo! Damn, the enemy placement in this room is something else. Alright, well. Of course, that thing has to bounce off of... Yeah, you kind of have to go more or less when they're Rising up. Oh, jeez. The timing is everything. Yeah. Fortunately, I was still in a good enough position where I could salvage the mushroom. All right. Last Reznor fight. Yay, that was easy peasy. <laughs> no stress. All right, so anyway can talk about fun new developments i did get a chance um during the last video death <laughs> that's a good omen but yeah i did get a chance last video to talk about uh the confirmed gen 4 remakes um because the video before then i recorded like the morning oh geez yeah, I recorded that the morning that they um, were announced, so it was like, I'm still talking to them as a hypothetical thing, and then, you know, a couple hours later, official con confirmation. Alright, I'm always sort of paranoid about these bullet bill launchers. Okay. But yeah, and of course, in... Oh, gosh. And of course, in typical fashion, there always has to be complaints. Because, oh, man. You know, they're they're done in the more, I guess... Um, closer to how they looked originally. Like, they weren't, they weren't done... I guess, like, the way the... Sword and Shield games looked. And some people were not very pleased by that. Which, you know, I just sort of look at it and be like, well, there's always going to be people that are not going to be happy with the way it's done. So, you know, I'm like, you know what? You know, it, it wasn't a big deal to me. I, I didn't mind. Because, you know, honestly, people complained about Sword and Shield and what have you. Alright, I was going to say, you guys going to... No. Oh. <laughs> so I jump right into the pit. But yeah, people are going to complain about anything, so... Alright, I'm going to try to... Cheese this level. I don't know why. At the very least, 
Let me see if I can grab a um, cape. What was in here? Do I have easy? Oh, well, let's see. There's a there's a mushroom. That's a start. And honestly, apart from the visual style questions, you know, everything else about it looks pretty good. I think the interesting thing is, um, I guess, since there's um, going to be an open world game that's going to be releasing a little bit after that, you know, I, I think that part of it was, you know, they wanted to keep them somewhat distinct looking. At least that's the way um, it seemed to me. I mean, I could be wrong about that. Oh, well, at least hammer suit. I'll, I'll live with that. So, yeah, with the... I mean, you have two, you know, very different games. Because the other one is kind of... I mean, I guess we'll wait till more information. But it kind of looks like it's going to be open world and has a very similar look and feel to um, Breath of the Wild. So I'm definitely interested in seeing more information about that as well, but I mean, as far as the Diamond and Pearl remakes go, you know, I'm I'm going to be perfectly content as long as you know, they just play you know, well. Like, I mean, if there's no, you know, gameplay issues and you know who honestly cares you know if they have a different visual style oh jeez i guess death wasn't uh hey oh my god so much for that hammer suit i spent like a thousand years trying to get oh gosh but yeah i didn't want to spend too much time in the last video talking about that necessarily because um my friend like you know he's played pokemon but he's not as familiar with it so i didn't want to be dominate conversation with something that he's not as familiar with necessarily and i guess in tangentially related fun uh, pokemon news course in Cody's playthrough is his most recent um do, I'm like do I, am I gonna have to like bring that that spring over here or what oh come on ah this is ridiculous all right, I guess I'm just going to have to bring that spring from the beginning over here. But yeah, he caught a shiny Eevee, which is like, of course he did. As I told him, you know, it's it's more of a shock when he doesn't catch one at this, at this stage. I'm, you know, I'm just like, for real. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, there you can... Oh, what the heck? I love your collision detection game. So, yeah. I mean, it's more, like I said, I I like to, you know, kid around about it, too. But it's mostly like a, a meme at this point, really. I mean... To be perfectly... Oh, God. These hammers! I mean, hammers. These bullets! Uh, come on, jump, man. Why can't I jump just because I'm carrying this thing? I know I can make it over this guy. There. Oh. Can't jump on the bullet bills. But yeah, I mean, I can't say that I've played Pokemon anywhere near as much time devoted as he has. I mean, I put my fair share of time into it. You know, I guess I can at least, you know, say I don't necessarily necessarily um put in that same level of grinding time by any stretch of the imagination but you know oh there's one over here too oh i think i need to use this one anyway 
Kind of. But yeah, it's just kind of funny. It's like... You've spent... Like, I've spent... Ugh! Please! <laughs> Jump! Alright. Is this a pipe I can go down? No. I gotta still deal with this trash. Oh, good. Flying hammer, brother. Woo! But yeah, it, it's just, like, crazy that, you know... You know, I, after, like, all the years I've spent playing... You know, I've never gotten... Um, like, a, as a regular wild shiny to come up, like, not even once. You know, and then... He, it's like half the time when he plays these, does these video series for a Pokemon, he he catches like at least one. So you know, I'm just kind of like, man, what do I gotta do to buy that kind of luck? I mean, it's like, oh, you say, oh, but you got that shiny in what the heck? Yo, let's just get out of here. <laughs> Somehow, I, I wasn't... I didn't really notice I got stuck on top of the platform when I was trying to... Go after him. And I guess you really can't uh, Gooba stomp those guys. Alright, well. That's Special World. And, hey, all the... Uh, colors change. Unfortunately, we're not going to get too much time to... Um have fun with that because we just have Bowser's Castle left. Alright, so go with a hammer and a cape. Might as well just uh, gear up for that one last level here. But anyway, it's like I said, it's not... The worst thing in the world. I think this is one that takes me back here. Yeah, okay. Final boss. Also the name of one of my long-running um, ARC bots. So, as I think I mentioned, Shane, you know, this more or less should be like a, a thing where I have to do um, a few different rooms. Whoa. Whoa. Basically, in a row. I think it's going to be four. Alright, so there's one room. Okay. And we're just going to be randomly generating. with. Oh, good. I remember this room. Alright, and then... Yeah, we got these guys. And there probably is going to be another thing like that, but... Since I have all the switches... Should be okay. Oh, oh yeah, there's one more that's sort of just hanging out here. Yeah, okay, this guy's blocked off by the switch. Excellent. Alright, look out, blimps. Oh, gosh. Oh, I got crushed. Well, goodbye, Kate. Come on. There we go. That one's tough to bait down. Oh, yeah, I gotta do the same thing to this guy. Alright, this one's easy enough. Okay, Thwimp. Oh, thank you. That's why we have our power-ups. Okay, room number three. Oh, well, Cape's a good one to have going into this room. So we can get a backup Cape. So anyway, just thinking about other things. I know, sort of casually talking with my friend also, like one of the things that was kind of brought up, we were um, kind of like by uh, watching, um, well, it was actually kind of started with it, like sort of um, convincing me to download uh, Star Trek Online, a game that he's been playing with another friend of ours for... Sort of casually for a few years now. 
And then it sort of turned into, like, it was watching one of the old Star Trek movies. I don't... Not that I would consider myself, like, a Trekkie by any stretch of the imagination. I have, like, a... Sort of like a casual knowledge of it, at best. All right, final Bowser. Here we go. But, you know, we're just kind of watching the beginning of that movie, and I was thinking, you know, one thing movies have kind of gotten away from, at least sort of in my experience, is, you know, those really big, iconic opening themes. Like, because, like, a lot of movies just as a stylistic choice, don't necessarily bother with, um... Oh, that was a bad one. Okay, that's more like it. But it a lot of movies don't really bother with, you know, main opening credit sequences. Kind of, I guess, like, like I said, it's, it's been kind of like a stylistic choice, so I'm not gonna necessarily say they're wrong for doing that, of course, but... Alright, of course he's got more health. So that's three hits, okay. Yeah, I see where we're going with this. So it's one of those things where I, I really do kind of miss that. I mean, you think of like a lot of those movie, you know, like a lot of those great big iconic movies. You think of something like Star Wars, you think of Jones, Jaws, like Jurassic Park, or, you know, like any of those things, like horror movies, you know, have that too. You know, just think of like those movies that have those like really memorable main themes. Oh, thanks for the mushroom. Goodbye. <laughs> I mean, so I wouldn't... I wouldn't mind seeing kind of return to that. Because you have a lot of good movies. Like, compare, like, the, the Bird and Batman movies to, like, say, the Nolan Batman movies. Like, the Nolan Batman movies are fantastic. I just... Part of me does kind of miss, like, like a really big sort of, like, central themed... And I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm a little bit more nerdy when it comes to like the movie musical score stuff so oh come on Ugh. Ugh. oh come on that was bad wow all right my throwing skill, my throwing up skills have, um, kind of failed me here. There we go. That's more, more like what I was trying to do here. There we go. So this is just going to take a while. But yeah, I mean, that was just, you know, it's kind of one of those random things thinking about. All right. Uh, this one takes so long because you have to wait for that. Double cannonball drop every time. All right. Yeah, I don't know why I. I was having trouble like. No. Oh. <laughs> I don't. Uh, don't know what happened there. I guess that one is gone. Sometimes if you have them just far enough off the screen, they'll wander back. But. Oh well. Yeah, naturally, we got five health for these clowns, so. Alright, if I don't miss one. Oh, God! If I don't miss one, immediately, immediately dumps it off the screen. Luckily, there's no time limit on the, on the final boss. It's just, uh, you know, stay alive. Eh. The main damage, the main uh, danger is don't hit that propeller. All right. All right, I'm just going to get rid of him. It could be prudent to try to save it for the next one, but I don't feel like kind of juggling it around. All right, now I need that extra mushroom. Yeah, thanks. My favorite part. At least there's less waiting with this boss. No, no worrying about cannonballs. The main annoyance is him actually uh, 
killing his own uh, Mecha Koopas. That one just wasn't in the right spot for me to try to grab, yeah. Oh, come on. Oh. All right, I want to be over here. Oh, come on. I try to press up. Why? There. Again, <laughs> My controller problems keep rearing their ugly head. Ay, caramba. Yeah, thank you. There we go. Lucky, too, because if I missed that one, I was going to end up taking a hit. Ah! Oh, see? Yeah, give me that mushroom. Yay! No. Let's go. Yay! There we go! We got it! Alright, technically, first try on the final boss. And that's it. That's the end of Super Mario World Randomizer. At long last, Mario revived the demoness Peach and sends the kingdom to generations of torture. Man, that's that uh, Mortal Kombat to Shang Tsung ending. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. Alright, so yep. Anyway. Yeah, I think I mentioned last time I really do want to investigate a, doing the Mario 64 randomizer. I, I'm having a lot of fun doing randomizers, so hey, random uh, hammer suit there. Thanks so much for playing. Yeah, you're welcome. For Author Blues, Taizo Man 666. Special thanks to Dots Are Cool, Mr. Cheese, Testers, Seathorn, Crawclaw, Slash, in, Slash Infinity, I guess, Sky Blitz, Sweet YT, Sweetie T, I guess. Oh, Sweetie, yeah, okay. Akisto, Unikitten, MGL, and others. Then move to Japan. How will be your name? Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On Niku video as it is in heaven. Give us this day our world records and forgive us our game saving as we have also forgiven our debtors and lead us not to splicing but deliver us from Volt. Amen. Hallelujah. So yeah, Mario 64 randomizer is definitely on the table. Said more Sonic stuff. Um, at some point, I mean, since this is technically also this year, uh, at least I was doing this recording, this year is the 35th anniversary for Metroid. I would kind of like to try to do at least like Metroid Prime or something like that. Because I've never played the 3D Metroid games. Like I, I think I've said it. I played a little bit of um, like Metroid Prime 3 <laughs> Mario. Just skating along. Yeah, I played a little bit of that, but that was so many years ago. So it is a series I would love to try to um, get back into for sure. I mean... I would love to see if, like, Nintendo would release a full-on, you know, like, re-release of the Metroid Prime trilogy for the Switch or something like that. I mean, especially since Metroid Prime 4 has been kind of delayed. Sort of, whoever knows how long. Um, but, you know, I, I guess it... it <laughs> I can't really count on that, necessarily, but, you know, it, it would be nice to see, you know, for sure... 
But like I said, either way, I'd love to do that. You know, at least try to at least try to play through the first one. I don't know. It's been a you know a while since I've done anything like blind. Like I think when I did Super Metroid, that was probably the only other video series I've done blind, and it's been and that was a lot of fun doing that. You know, discovering the Metroid universe through that game, and I played it. Gotten to play a few Metroid games outside that since then. I've played a little bit of the original Metroid. I've never gotten around to finishing. That one's pretty tough. Um, even, like, doing, like, the, the zero, miss, zero Mission thing. That could be something to try. Like, maybe the Zero Mission Game Boy Advance remake of, of the original Metroid. Um, yeah, done it. Uh, played a, the uh, Metroid 2 Game Boy game, and then I played the uh 3ds remake i still never got around to finishing that i don't know why i think it's one of those things i was having fun with it but i like ended up getting distracted by other games the night and then like oh then i got the switch and then i stopped you know digging my 3ds out of storage anywhere near as often so you know it's uh you know there's definitely stuff i i'd be interested in playing like i said i'm not gonna probably touch Pokemon too much as far in videos anyway because yeah I just can't you know I, I can't really compare with you know other people that play it much better than I do I'm a very casual uh, Pokemon player like I <laughs> you know I just can't especially like you know it's Cody I'm like what am I doing here <laughs> but anyway so once again thanks for anyone that's watching and I will Catch you all in the next game. Alright, so later, people.